Now today I'll show you on how to replace an alternator on a 2011 S4 six speed manual, roughly 182,000 miles. Now very quickly, you want to verify that your alternator needs replacement. I have a separate video regarding that. Super easy to do. You don't even have to get your hands dirty. Check it out. Something you can get done within a minute. And that being said, let's jump into it. Now you may be thinking, why is the front bumper off the vehicle? Is it necessary? Well, of course we have to remove the drive belt from the alternator in order to tackle this job. And look at this carrier here. This is the stock location. And the working room is almost non-existent. So in the previous upload, we removed the front bumper and tilted this cowl forward to get much better access to the drive belt. So I will link that video in the description box below. This looks scary, I get it. I know it looks really scary, but it really is not that hard. The only thing I would stress, don't rush anything. Just take your time. And since you're there, good time to replace the drive belts, the tensioners and the pulleys. I show everything in that video. And now we can tackle the alternator. Now, before you remove the drive belt, always make a diagram. Here's a quick diagram just so you can take a picture and have it. But nonetheless, right here is the supercharger pulley. This is our idler. And all the way right down here on the bottom left, that is the tensioner. So we need to rotate this clockwise. So we'll be using a serpentine belt removal tool, an absolute must have because a ratchet is just too thick, okay? It won't fit with a ratchet. So in our case, it's a 16 millimeter socket. And as always, I'll have a link of all the tools in the description box below. And this is where the serpentine belt removal tool makes all the difference. Look how tight this is. Incredibly tight with a ratchet, it just doesn't happen, okay? So let me just grab this on the fastener, turn it clockwise, and you see how it loosens up the belt? Okay, and then we can simply remove it from the vehicle. Now, because the S4 is supercharged, it has coolant lines. So antifreeze is running through these lines to cool the supercharger. But the accessory belt is behind these coolant lines. So you'll find a bracket. There's a bracket up here, another bracket on the bottom. Now, because the S4 is almost 12 years old and 182,000 miles, I don't want any fasteners to strip. I have shown this before. Ultimately, what this is, just to show you, it's a liquid, okay? It's a liquid with small metal particles, okay? And what this does, this allows ultimate grip onto the fastener. You don't need a lot, so it does not strip out. So you see how there's some surface rust here on the fastener? So with the drive grip, it really does a fantastic job. Okay. Now this is another must have a Craftsman ratcheting screwdriver. So in this case, we have a Torx bit. Because the area is confined, we can insert the bit into the screwdriver. And now we can remove or attach any fastener in confined spaces. So this is the bottom of that coolant line. Now we can remove the fastener. Now we're going to remove the tensioner for the main drive belt. In other words, the belt that runs the water pump, power steering pump, and the AC compressor. Now we need an offset wrench for this part. Right here, as you can see, we still have the coolant lines, but they're loose, running to the supercharger, okay? And you'll find a 17 millimeter adapter right here. So you're placing the wrench on this adapter and turning the wrench clockwise. Clockwise rotation, and we should be able to remove the belt here. Okay, so the alternator lives on the right-hand side of the vehicle, all the way on the bottom. So right here is the oil pan, and there is the alternator. Now you'll find a harness connector running to, this is the electronic dipstick, also it's an oil temperature sensor. Right here is a tab, you press up on the tab, okay, and pull on the body. I did this off camera. And then you just remove the connection points from the alternator. We just have a bar here that we need to remove. Fastener here, another one uh, right there. 
and this is a T30 fastener. And a 13 millimeter on the opposite end. And then you have two electrical connections. One is right here, this is the harness connector. And then you have another one behind a black boot. Okay. So on the harness connector, just using a pick and then rotating it, and you'll hear a click. And you can remove the harness connector from the alternator. And this is a 13 millimeter. Once again, the pick. And there we go. Okay, then four fasteners, two on the bottom and two on top. Okay, let's see if I can remove this without breaking. Oh, there we go. Okay, there it is. It is a little bit heavy. Ooh. And when you remove the alternator, the bracket for the supercharger tensioner is also removed. Great time to replace everything, as you can see here. I have all new belts, tensioners, and everything else that's done in the other video. Let's just quickly reinstall it and we'll wrap it up. Now these fasteners are soft aluminum, so do not, do not over torque them, okay? From the factory, if you want to torque everything down, it's roughly 18 foot pounds. Now we're going to install a brand new drive belt and I'll include a diagram showing precisely the routing of the belt. It's a little hard to get everything on camera, but once again, everything is routed correctly, and the new tensioner has a pin. Gosh, let me see if I can get this on camera. Right here, see this pin? You pull the pin, and it sets up the tension perfectly for the new belt. Now the pin is a little hard to remove. I just have a vice grip on the pin. Really hard to get this on camera. It's so tight working on this car. And then just try to slip. There you go. Have the belt for the supercharger reinstalled, and now is the time to triple check everything. So it's getting rather late here. I'm just going to speed this up, reinstall the bumper. Okay, so here goes nothing. Okay, so we're in good shape. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.